So it occurred to me that I never actually reviewed the legacy front end certificate that I did, which you can see I have the old school one right here framed. Uh, I was very proud of this. Let me put it up a little closer. Hard to see with the reflection. Um, I like this style for the record better than this clean one. I get the appeal of the clean. I like a little flair with my certificates. I think I think this was the the correct choice. But um, we're gonna go back on memory lane a little bit. Look at some old projects that I did. Talk about the the legacy. What is now the legacy front end certificate, and really evaluate was it a good program, and just sort of just sort of enjoy the moment and enjoy going down and strolling and stopping to smell the roses a couple years later. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I've, I've done, I think, four certifications at this point on Free Code Count. Let's see here. I've done the uh, re responsive web design. I've done the algorithms and data structures. I haven't finished the front end library. I probably should knock out these two out. This drum machine one looked kind of to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I've uh, started uh, data visualization. I did the APIs and microservices. Um, I haven't finished up that one, so I've done four and uh, I guess five. I don't know. I lost track already. But you can see here the um, sort of the old school uh, front end. When Free Code Camp started, there was the front end, back end, and then essentially the full stack um, certification that you got once you sort of completed all of them. And you could see that it had quite a few more projects than they did than they had in the past. Uh, nowadays, it's uh, about five per project and uh, part of the reason and a lot of these are actually broken about half of them because when free code camp started their legacy front end project they wanted you to get comfortable with APIs which is a great thing to do the problem is that a lot of companies do a very poor job maintaining their APIs because a lot of developers don't understand versioning and they they just don't under it's just people do bad stuff and so a lot of these things broke over time um, but, uh, it's, it's kind of cool to look back at some of these things that, you know, you go one, one, for instance, like personal portfolio project, like, look at this, man, that's your boy right there. That's your boy. I've been using this photo for four years. <laughs> this photo is from, this was when April and I were rekindling. Listen, this is, this is how far back. This is when we had broken up the last time, uh, five years ago. And uh, I think we went to, we're like, things are getting better. Uh, you can see I'm a little disheveled because of the, the breakup at that time. <laughs> and we're at Joe's Crab Shack getting some, some, some crab legs, man. But um, doing some stuff. You can see I have some portfolio items here. All these sorts of items that we built. And then uh, all the other stuff. But uh, this is back when I was using Bootstrap uh, for my responsive design. You had the quote generator kind of cool get a new quote tweet it out all that sort of stuff you can see the api is broken um you can do the pomodoro clock start that up this isn't going to break because we it works it's just javascript do a little bit of that we had the calculator let's do eight minus four bam it's four the weather app which is broken tic-tac-toe probably still works so let me see if i go Turn next. Uh, boom. Player ones. I can't say the AI is the smartest thing I ever wrote. Uh, <laughs> it's funny to look back at this stuff and be like, God, I changed so much of it. But you do what you can at the time. This was probably the hardest one for me, the Simon game, going through it. Um, let me see here. Start. Bam, bam. Let's see how long we can go. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. 
Bam, 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 bam. I think I can get up to like seven before I start making a mistake. I'm starting to think it's bugged because it's only going. Oh, there. Okay, finally. Oh, I already messed it up for there. Yeah, I messed it up. All right. Anyhow, Wikipedia search. Do hello. Let's see if this still works. Oh, it does still work. Get a Wikipedia search and then the Twitch JSON API. I'm sure I might have forgot to open one or two more up. But for the time, the free code camp front end path, I think they estimated about 500 hours of coursework. And if you put in... God, there's about 10 projects there. I, I would say it's probably pretty realistic that I put 10 hours each on one of those. of just hard hours. So you have 100 there. And then, you know, I probably didn't spend 400 hours on the coursework. But between Googling, Googling, uh, Googling things and searches, um, I could say their, their JavaScript course uh, was fantastic. It was probably, if not the best thing on the market, close to it uh at the time is really competing with code academy and it blew it out of the water to my to to quincy's credit free code camp's base product is significantly better than anything code academy has to offer in, in my opinion anyhow um and code academy is like one of those new york startups that got you know a couple hundred million dollars and i don't know what they're doing with it uh <laughs> so uh but it's a fantastic product and I was very proud to go and earn this certificate. I still am. I put this on my resume and it, you know, they, it's now the legacy front end certificate because it should be legacy, right? The technology moves very fast. At the time, the core library or framework, if you want to call it that, um, not really a framework, most people say, but it ends up being one, uh, is jQuery, which is legacy development nowadays. And it's, it's a fair statement to say that, which is why they have updated route and, and with React and everything that goes along with it it's you know css grid and flexbox and you know there's less emphasis um on bootstrap for your column grid setup uh it was a it was something i worked very hard on and oh uh 400 hours of course what it says it says here it was um something i completed in 2016 and here we are you know people ask me you know, one of my one of my number one videos that has like seventy five thousand views on it is I just is free code camp worth it is the name of the video and it's free code camp is the one of the best resources you can use and it got me into loving development because I went from not even occurring of building something like it never occurred to me sometimes these things don't just don't occur because you you're new you're young you're figuring it out you don't really know and you just you know development's new for you it doesn't occur to you to build something. And Free Code Camp made that click. And once that started click, once I started building something, all of this started making sense. And their, their front end certificate was the path to the job for me. And, you know, here I am four years later. We're in 2020. This is in 2016. Um, I got this a couple of months after I got my first job to put that in, in perspective. Right. I hadn't even completed the certificate before I went and got my first job. And... Here I am. I'm, I'm a senior software engineer. I own my own house. I, I went from making $10,000 a year delivering pizzas to uh, well above six figures. And life is pretty good, right? Life life is pretty solid and it took a lot of hard work. Free Code Camp's not going to do the work for you. It's going to give you a path and then you you say, okay, Free Code Camp, uh, you know, FCC says go in this direction. I'll go in this direction, see what's there. And then I do a whole bunch of stuff outside of it. But in some weird sense of the way, it was sort of my mentor. And looking back upon this, I'm, I'm, it's one of the things I'm, I'm most proud about that I, I've done. You know, it's hard to, I bet if, if uh, I, I don't know, if, I know Free Candle Camp is pretty open with their statistics. I don't know if they released this one. But I bet if you go and you look at what percent of people um, start Free Code Camp, like I think they went up to 10 million recently people of users uh, that have started it, that less than one percent complete a certificate that would probably be uh, my my you know some people start it never finish it just like everything else in life and so i i'm very happy i've put the time effort and energy to finish this and i'm very proud of that and it was it was a, a defining moment and it's something that 
even now I'd probably go back and, and finish it. Occasionally I think about going back and doing the legacy backend certificate and stuff like that. Um, but it was a, it was something I, I really enjoyed doing. And, um, at a time that was very rough for me too, right? I was dropped out of college. I was going through a breakup, all that sort of stuff, moving across country. And even after getting that job, I made sure in the next few months to go and finish this because that was what was important to me. I set out, I did it. It helped me get there. I wanted to go to the next stage. And I think they're doing an excellent job with their curriculum. They've been updating it for, they updated it um, a couple years back to be more current. And they've already talked about adding Python because FreeCodeCamp's goal is always to sort of be teaching you the latest and the greatest to make sure you're job ready, right? They're sort of, they they look at themselves as not to speak for them, but um, as sort of a open source coding boot camp to help people learn co- software engineering or web development and get a job in it. And I think they're they're doing an excellent job. So I look back very fondly fondly on this. I I think they should have a better template than the plain one. I like this one much better. I don't know if I carry any weight. I probably don't, but bring it back uh, or bring back some version of it. This was a good one. I like this. Um, it adds a little bit of flair. It adds a little bit of something. I don't know. It means a lot to me, though. Um, anyhow, guys, that's today's video. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm on that hashtag road to 100K, really trying to get the silver play button because it'll go right next to this. <laughs> Uh, if you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below, which you can get them, or any of the books I recommend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge, to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.